Hello everybody, I'd like to introduce you to Birdbeak McGee. You may be wondering where our last companion went. Let's just say he ran into a little bit of trouble. But forget about him. Today we're going to be playing as Birdbeak McGee, and what I'd like you to do is join me as I travel across moons and stars as we play Starbound. Uh, there's going to be a character wipe soon, so what I thought I would do is... Uh, Let's warp the planet. What I thought I would do is uh, kind of guide you through what I've learned in the past few weeks of playing just on my own. And then when the character wipe comes, we'll, we'll start all, all over again. I mean, that's the beauty of these games. They're actually really fun to play. Okay, well, we've got some seeds. And we've already started off with some structure. I like uh, googly eye trees, let me tell you. What else is there? Hmm, not much on the surface. We've got some vine trees. These are pretty cool. Uh, and we have a little vine monster. So the plan now is to, uh, you know, go through the quest system and then build up an arsenal. And how we're going to do that is through mining. We're going to do a lot of mining, and that'll be uh, that'll probably be a lot of edits. But we want to we want to go up the tier systems really fast. We're going to go through all the armor systems, so it should be pretty good. So we're going to cut down one of these vine trees. Now vines are actually really great for creating bandages, and they're also really good for creating bows. Use the bandages a lot if you're in trouble, and you use the bow to get your first bit of meat. And that is if you don't find a weapon first. And we have a weapon, it's not the best, it's a starting weapon. Hopefully we come across some NPCs, we can ambush them, and hopefully we can kind of just pillage them. Ah, nice one. Uh, oh, we, got, we actually got wood from that, we're supposed to get vines, oh well. Let's, let's see where else we can get vines. Now we do seem to have an enemy chasing us. Oh yeah! Good sir. I again. Timing is key with these kind of things. Ah yes, I'm I'm definitely not used to using the manipulator to mine anymore. You see, after a little bit, you can actually start mining with uh, stone pickaxes, and then you can progress through the systems on that all the way up to diamond. So we want to do that as fast as possible. It comes with physics advantages, you know. It gets to a certain point, and you really don't see much of an improvement, but it's definitely there, and we're definitely striving towards that. So what do I think of Starbound then? Um, I don't know if my opinions differed since my first video because I've, I've not like looked back and watched it. Uh, I don't know. It's a really fun game, and I've played through it. I've played through it twice now, and I've got pretty far. I've got up to I think it's the final boss. Um, I'm not exactly sure of the name, but I, I pretty much played like I played Terraria. I progressed through the system, and I read a lot of wiki pages. <laughs> And oddly enough, that's that's my favourite bit, is discovering all these different things in these games. Um, that's my favourite bit, it honestly is, and that's one of the reasons I get hooked into these kind of games. It's the same with Minecraft. And then with that whole thing, you get to watch YouTube videos. I've been watching a lot of, uh, I watched a bit of Minecrafted, or Top Mass, if you've heard of him. He did the uh, Pimp My Minecraft a while back. And uh, I was watching him for a little bit. I've been watching uh, some of the other Terraria YouTubers playing it, like uh, Ryan, uh, RWM8558. And uh, I've been watching the Odyssey games. The Odyssey games have been pretty good. So they, they're a few good Let's Plays if you want to check them out. But other than that, I've really just been discovering things on my own. And that, that, comes with, uh, that comes with a lot of satisfaction. And the beautiful thing about this game is that you can just go through these worlds and you can discover these things yourself. And one of the beautiful things about Let's Play in this game is... And it didn't really come with Terraria, right? And I have a lot of love for Terraria, and I'm comparing it to Terraria because there's obviously similar things, and it's easy to compare to. But one of the things Terraria couldn't offer me as a YouTuber is the randomness of it all. You see, the thing with random games, and this goes for like games like The Binding of Isaac, um, what they're good at is being random, and then when the viewer comes to watch, they get a different experience for each person. And now you can say that it's the commentator that does that, and essentially it, it is in a way. But the game has to play a part in that too. So Starbound's a great game for YouTube. Okay, so what have we got? We've got some items already. Let's go into our inventory. Uh, C for crafting. And let's craft some wooden planks. Okay, we have enough. Let's make a wooden crafting table. And what else should we make? We'll make a campfire while we're here. Cook some meat. Okay, let's go back up to the spaceship and put this down. Um, let's put it down here. That's nice. Okay, what is our next quest? Food fight. By now you're likely beginning to feel hungry. Food can be found in a variety of places, but in the pinch 
but in a pinch, hunting is your best option. Obtain some alien meat by killing a monster with a bow and cook it in the campfire to produce cooked alien meat. Well, we need to go back to the surface again because we haven't got any vines. And I'm not talking about them seven second videos. I am unaware if I've made that joke before. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's just rush past this guy. I don't know, he seems to be a little bit neutral. There are some neutral enemies in this game, that did shock me. Uh, these are clearly not the, the neutral enemies. Oh god, we're gonna get our butts kicked. I cannot wait to start crafting some weapons. Let me tell you. Go away, sir. There we go. Ah, nice. Got lots and lots of vines now. Well, about 12. I keep calling them vines, by the way. They're actually called plant fibers, I've just realized. Uh, so, sorry about that. There'll be people like, Why are you calling them vines? I don't know. I don't think we've got them kind of dedicated Starbound players yet. <laughs> Give it about a year. People will come back to this video and they will they will jump on this bandwagon of calling them stupid. I am I am being serious here. It's, 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 it's due to... Um, it's due to time, really, because people, when they... <laughs> When they look back at old videos, they don't realise that they're old. So you know, they you know, and I, 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 like uh, I mean this like most players like in about a year, right? And you'll do this yourself, and like I do it now. In about a year, you'll know everything about the game, right? And then when you see people not knowing everything about the game, trying to teach you things, it's a little annoying. <laughs> but at the time, it's all good because people are still learning. So, and just one of the things you have to consider. Ah yes. Oh, well, we're collecting iron right now. Um, it's probably a little bit waste of time because we are going to be uh, getting a pickaxe pretty soon. We'll actually we'll actually leave that for now. Uh, hopefully, are these neutral? Yes, they're neutral. I knew they'd be neutral. Um, let's use a few wood to get up here. Yeah. Um, I lost my point then. But um, what we're actually trying to do now is to just progress through the quest system. So we'll need to get a furnace in a second. Uh, we've got our plant fiber. Uh, let's make a way up here. It looks like it looks like oh. Ooh, we've stumbled onto a town, I think. And on the side of a cliff. That is nice. I was playing a game of Would You Rather last night, and uh, one of the questions was, would you have your hidden base on the side of a cliff or underwater? I said on the side of a cliff, but my friend Callum, he, uh, he's more into the under the water kind of scene. But uh, yeah, I think, I don't know, it's like, it's like Tony Stark kind of thing. Ooh, he looks deadly, actually. Do we go and confront him? Please say he's neutral. Please. please. Okay. He, he might be a little bit pissed if we just kind of break through the middle of his house, though. That's a point. If he's not neutral, we'll kill him. Um. Is he pissed off? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's pissed off. Mm, how are we going to kill this guy? Nice one. He killed himself, essentially. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Blocks. Yay. <laughs> that is... <laughs> that's really bad. <laughs> it's all about being a warrior and uh, I've ruined it. Okay, what's he got? Oh, a glitch. Oh, he's a glitch. Nice. We used to be a glitch. Until the incident. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got some raw meat. We got a useless hacker. Right, uh, DPS. Oh, DPS is better than our DPS at the minute. Is that one-handed or two-handed? Two-handed, yes. That would make sense. A tool spawner. Tool merchant spawns for when you need to dig a hole. That is interesting. We're going to have a look at that in a little bit, because I'm not actually sure how to use that yet. And we got a chest. Um, but we're going to leave the chest, because, I mean, we can always come back to that. It's, I don't like to carry around uh, things that I'm not probably going to use. Okay. Nice one, we got this hacker. Um, okay, let's see if we can confront him just a little bit. I should really stop building with raw wood. Okay, hello sir. Are you going to be nice? I don't believe he is. Okay, so this is wide open. Um, oh my god. I tell you what, uh, let's let's just test out that crafting recipe. Bandage. Oh, I to make a table. Oh, so this is uh, this is part of all the Christmassy stuff. Uh, I kind of missed all this, sadly. Okay, 
So what these do is uh, you use one and then it will allow you to regenerate health for a certain amount of time. He looks a little bit like a robot chicken. Oh, that was unfortunate. I was, I was expecting something better. Mm. That's what you get when you attack librarians. Dust. And uh, I guess pixels. Pixels can be dust. Alright, what else does this world have to salvage before we uh, go and craft our hunting bow? Ooh, it's another guy. I like his sword, I wish you'd drop it. Don't really seem to do much damage to us though, and we have quite low levels, so it should. Um, this is just a well. Very nicely world generated, I have to say. Hmm, apart from these, uh, these cliffs. Ooh, but I see coal up there. Hmm, and it's getting night time. I don't know, we could retweet, no, we could, re I almost said retweet. We could retreat down here for a little bit. Let's do that. Let's get a hacker on. Ah, nice. Got all these pixels. Pixels are used in crafting, and they can be used to buy things. And that's something I learned the other week. Pixels are very, uh, very useful. They made some tweaks since the first episode. Um, they, they like now require less pixels and stuff to like make some of the stuff. So that's pretty good. Okay, if we go to the surface, what we can actually do is um, I don't, I don't know what blocks have we got. Oh, we got lots of um, we got lots of dirt. We'll use some dirt. Best not to use up our raw materials. So it's such early on in the game because I mean we're only going to be using it for really um, I don't know, just crafting stuff really. But it's just oh, it's a pain in the bum to get raw materials with the manipulator. Okay. There we go. Nice one. You two? Ooh, there really is you two. And we're gonna kill this guy, not because we're feeling adventurous, but because it's pixels. Ah, nice one. If we jump. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. Okay, so let's take a look at what we need to do. Food fight. Uh, we did actually craft... Um, we already crafted a campfire, didn't we? I guess if we put this down... Put in our meat. It should let us skip. Yeah, there we go. It's time to craft a furnace. Alright, that's easy. All we have to do is pick up this. See on here. And we should... Hmm, maybe not. Uh, furnace. Stone furnace. What do we need? Uh, we need cobbler and a campfire. Well, we don't have enough cobbler. <laughs> I should really stop building with it. Okay. Uh, how many? How many more do we need? I think if we get rid of, if we convert this into like a stairway, and we take the stone, we should be able to just build our furnace anyway. And that's a should. Okay. Cool. That's uh That's. I believe that should be enough. Was it thirty or forty? Hmm. I'm not exactly sure. Well, we'll get the stone down here then. Um, this should actually be enough. Just if we get this pocket. And then we should get a bit of extra stone as well. Yeah, I'm thinking extra stone because then we can build that stone pickaxe a lot faster. Once you build the stone pickaxe, man, things start really get flying. Uh, you get to go... Well, it depends, actually. I, I like to either... and uh, like If I come to a new planet, I like to either... Scout around the top of the world, see what NPCs you can find, and then see what you can salvage weapons-wise. Or, I like to go straight underground and see if we can just hold our own, but we haven't got enough plant fibre at the minute, so... If we make a stone axe, we get a lot of plant fibre, then we can make a lot of bandages. And then that way we should be able to hold off underground. As long as we don't run into too much poison. That's usually, that's usually my downfall, is poison. Poison water and stuff like that. It, it's green and it's quite obnoxiously shown. I'm just really bad at not walking into it. Mm. I don't know. I just like to swim. Okay, is this enough stone? It should be. Take a look at our inventory. Nice, so what have we got? We've got some a small amount of plant fiber. We've got some cooked meat. Don't really find much use for food in this game. I'll be honest. It's more of a gimmick than anything. 
Okay, that should be enough. Let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the mothership. I'm liking this mothership. I I never realised that each race has a different ship, and ours has a big massive uh, chaos emerald, and it, it looks quite nice. <laughs> okay, uh, stone furnace should be able to just wipe this down now. Nice. Next you'll need to get some armor. Working with metal requires an anvil, but before you can craft one you'll need to melt some iron, obtain two times iron ore and smelt it into furnace, get an iron bar. Inventory, we'll slap down this. Um, maybe not there? Okay. It's a bit funny about the placing when you've got your inventory open. There we go. Okay, uh, I believe we click C on that. Or right, no, E. That's it, E. And we should be able to just stick our whatever copper ore we've got in there. Okay, let's have a look at a stone pickaxe for now. Uh, we'll need some wooden planks. I believe we actually have enough wood. Ah, it's plenty wood. Tools, 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 tools. Stone pick. There we go. And a hunting bow. We'll get one of these because it's good for meat. Okay, so let's stick our pickaxe there. And let's stick our hunting bow there. I don't know, I, I don't really like the position of this, so I'm going to swap that around there. Like that. And then that way just for a little bit more secure. I'm probably not going to be growing food. Um, I don't know, I'm just not a big I'm just not a big grower of foods in this game. I just think that if you've got meat, you're pretty much good, but it's probably got some like crafting stuff. Oh yeah, it was it was copper that we got earlier, not iron. Damn me. Okay, we'll warp to this planet. Hopefully it's not too dark now. We'll see if we can actually tackle some of them enemies now that we've got uh now that we've got this what's it called again? A I I don't know, it's like a, a crappy hammer or something. Something really negative. Well that's something we could use. Um we could use a bow uh, a bed right now. 